Hey everybody, what's up? It's Rod back here at day two on our YouTube station. This is day two of Crazy 8 series. Today we have, yesterday we had chest, tries, and shoulders for you guys. Hope you tried it out. It's a tough one. Now today we have back and buys. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple reps of each move and I'm going to show you with just one pair of dumbbells. Okay, just in case you have access to just a pair of dumbbells and a bench at home or say you go to a gym at a busy time during the day and this is all you have access to because of the crowd. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. All eight moves are done with this pair of dumbbells and if you have a couple sets, you know, that's to your advantage. That's good. So here we go. Eight moves with the dumbbells, we got four moves with back and we have four moves with biceps. All right, here's how we start out. So, double arm row. You're gonna bend in the knees, keep the knees bent, keep that back nice and tight. All we're doing is pulling those elbows up. You're going here for eight reps, right along the side of the body, nice and tight, okay? No swinging, then you're gonna stand up, open up the palms. Eight bicep curl, okay? No swinging here, elbows stay tight to the body. All the way up, all the way down, get that full range of motion. You go back down, third exercise. Elbows are gonna come out now, they're gonna flare out, gonna hit a different area of those lats in the back, okay? All the way up, elbows stay out, okay? Palms face the back. Next move, number four, gonna stand up, shoulders back, palms stay in. Now you have eight hammer curls, okay? Palms always face one another. Elbows stay tight all the way up, all the way down. That's move number four. Number five, if you have a bench, time to go to the bench, okay? Come to the end, feet together, dumbbells go between the legs, underneath the legs. All right, you're gonna open up wide and down nice and slow. Open up wide, down nice and slow. Up, you're gonna hit that rear delt behind the shoulder that ties those back muscles in nice and tight. All right, now we're standing up. To mimic the barbell, close grip curl, or the easy curl bar. If you guys don't have one, you put those dumbbells together, those elbows stay right on the obliques, no swinging, muscle that up with the bicep. Okay, curl stay nice and tight for eight. All right, okay. Now, to the back again. Last back move, last bind move. If you don't have an access to a pull-up area, okay? If you do have pull-ups, do put pull, pull-ups right here, eight pull-ups. If not, we're gonna do nice concentration lawn mowers. All right, one knee is up, I'm supporting myself, dumbbell all the way down, stretch that lat out, drive that elbow up, you're gonna squeeze at the top of the move. So we're really focusing on each side of that back. All right, the last move, number eight, is called the Zotman curl, okay? So what we're gonna do is watch carefully. We're gonna turn at the top, so palms are open. We curl up, turn, reverse curl down. Open them back up. Curl up, squeeze. Turn them, reverse it down. Let's go two more. Up, turn, just so you get used to that move. Reverse curl down, open them up one more time. Curl it, turn it, down. That really gets every single area of the forearm, every, every muscle in the bicep and really stimulates the growth, okay? That right there, you go through eight times. So the key is, try not to put those dumbbells down until you're done with your eighth rep. If you're done with your seventh rep and you have a pull-up station, put them down, do your pull-ups. After one round, you take about a 60 second break, hit it in round two, okay? That's the idea, is to get through everything, all eight exercises, and then your 60 second break. And now, today what I want you guys to do is when you're all done, if you have some extra time, Depending on your time frame, okay? If you get through four rounds of this, it's only six extra minutes of just a little blast of cardio when you're done to get that heart racing, okay? So here, we've got three moves. We're gonna start out jump rope. You got a jump rope, we're gonna go 20 seconds. I won't do the whole minute and a half, but I'm just gonna give you an idea of what we're doing. All right, so jump rope for 20 seconds, okay? Pass that by nice and smooth. You wanna move pretty quick on this because you're only doing this, like I said, for 20 seconds, you're watching the clock. As soon as it hits that 20 second mark, that jump rope is down, okay? You're done with that, you get 10 seconds break. Once that 10 seconds, you get ready, make sure you have some room. Now you can hit 20 seconds worth of burpees. Okay, I want burpees all the way down, chest tops the ground, all the way up. See, it's one, fluid move. Okay, you're gonna do that for 20 seconds, then take your 10 second break. And then the last move, the first round of this, got a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, 
use the dumbbells that you just did for the uh, the, series, the crazy eight series. Okay, one feet shoulder width, nice firm stance. All you're gonna do is hinging. You're hinging at the waist, up, extension, extension. Extend that all the way up, get those back muscles involved at the top of the move, okay? Fire those hips. If you fire those hips forward, you save those arms, okay? One more, hinge at the hips, fire it up. All right, that'll get your heart pumping. So one round of that is 90 seconds. Depending on your time frame, try to get at least four rounds in when you're done with this, when you're done with all eight rounds of your crazy eights, try to hit that four times, it's only six extra minutes. If you have more time, do it. A real Tabata is eight rounds, so that'd be 12 extra minutes when you're done. Don't think that's too much to ask. All right, I am Rod. This is workout number two. I will be back tomorrow. We got plyo coming up next, and also legs. Oh yeah. See you tomorrow.